welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is Tuesday and this is the week of Christmas. So it is indeed Christmas week. Hopefully this is going to be a really positive and uplifting vlog. I know that everything is really difficult at the moment and everything is very up in the air. We just don't know what's happening from one day to the next. I really hope this vlog can offer you some kind of moment of positivity or just a smile or something. I don't know. I aim to keep this as a really positive and uplifting festive vlog. So reading wise, <laughs> saying it's going to be positive and uplifting, but I actually didn't enjoy the book that I finished this morning. So the book that I was reading was The Christmas Escape by Sarah Morgan. This was one that was sent to me by the publishers and I gave this three out of five stars. This is a contemporary Christmas romance following two best friends, one of whom is in a marriage that is struggling, they have a child, the other is single and independent and just kind of constantly references this right at the start and how happy she is in that kind of situation and how she doesn't need a man and then meets a man in an enemies to love a situation and just turns into a complete flake and just is really annoying. So that character trope was irritating, but basically the best friend and the guy best friend of, of the husband from the failed marriage, if that makes sense, take the child of the parents in the failed marriage to Lapland and then the parents join them at a later date. Does, does that make sense that the plot, I, I mean, going into it, I didn't realize that was what it was about. I thought this was about two best friends who go to Lapland together and then discover they're actually in a romantic relationship together. So that was the kind of route I thought this was gonna take. And I wasn't like entirely wrong, except that they weren't best friends. It's an enemies to lovers romance at the same time as like a fixing marriage romance. So if you're expecting Christmas festive joy, I wouldn't say this has a great deal of it, to be honest. Whilst this is set over the Christmas period and it is in Lapland, I expected a lot more festive elements from it. It just fell flat there for me, unfortunately. So this ended up just really being an adult contemporary romance, which I don't often reach for. So, mm. But just generally the representation of these characters just felt really pants. I just think they were very toxic in their relationships with each other and everything would have been resolved with communication. Like the enemies to lovers thing was all based around the fact that the woman was ignoring the man for five years for one specific reason that we just don't know. And then you find out and you're like, are you actually kidding me? That was the reason you've been ignoring each other for five years. It just felt really ludicrous and just silly. So it just kind of lost me there and the atmosphere wasn't really there. Generally, I just don't think it was worth it, to be honest, but that's fine. It's done. I finished it. It didn't take me too long to read it. I started it Sunday and I finished it this morning. Did read it alongside the audiobook, so that definitely helped. It wasn't too bad an audiobook, to be honest, but would I recommend it? Probably not, because I didn't have anything special. However, I am a firm believer that we all read books differently, and just because I didn't really like this, you may enjoy it. So that means I will be picking up A Surprise for Christmas and Other Seasonal Mysteries, edited by Martin Edwards. This is a completion of lots of stories and is all Christmassy mysteries. I'm excited for this because I've never really read anything like this, like a completion of mysteries before. However, I don't know if I'm in the mood for lots of short stories or if I want one big story. I don't really know, but I think if I start this and read a couple of them, maybe I will read something alongside it, or maybe I'll just realize I'm not quite in the mood for it. I don't know, but this is next up on my TBR. And then I've got The Hunting Party, which I want to read in between Christmas and New Year's because that's when it's set. So this is what I will be starting tonight. Tonight I also have my Patreon Christmas party, which is exciting. I'm gonna be doing a quiz and scavenger hunts and some challenges. It's gonna be really good fun. So I'm looking forward to that. Tomorrow I've got a call with some friends, a FaceTime call, a little Christmas celebration. I'm gonna get a takeaway, which I'm excited for. And then also tomorrow is my last working day. Thursday, I go back home for Christmas. Woo, very, very excited for that as well. And then it is Christmas Eve on Friday. So we'll be getting into lots of festive tradition things that we do each year, including making our Christmas cake. And then Saturday we have Christmas. Feels like it's approaching very, very fast as it always does, but I'm really excited. I love gift giving. So I'm very excited to give everyone presents that I've bought and just spend time with everyone. So that'll be really nice. So looking forward to it. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I hope that it just, as I said, offers some kind of distraction or, or whatever you want it to do really. So enjoy the festive Christmas week vlog. Hello, this is not great lighting. Any better? Is, is that? Anyway, hi, my Patreon Christmas party has just ended. That was so much fun. Did a couple of different games, one of which included some of my patrons join me on camera and basically did a blindfold drawing challenge where they had to draw 
what they thought was a reindeer with their eyes shut or a blindfold on and oh my god it made me laugh so much and we I think we were all laughing quite a lot because of the different reindeers we got some pretty impressive drawings for, for blindfold drawing to be honest and it was just so much fun and I just love that community so so much so yeah a little shout out to my patrons there because that was absolutely brilliant and a really fantastic way to spend the evening and just give me a great lift into this Christmassy week so that was good I haven't started my book yet at all it is what time is it I have no idea 8 37 so I think I'm just gonna get a couple of bits done and then just settle down for the evening and read and then tomorrow's my last working day of the year Woo! so it's very exciting happy Tuesday God, hi, it's Wednesday and this is my last working day of the year! My last working day for my day job, I should add, because tomorrow I am doing a shit ton of books and stuff so that I can have a little bit of a break over the next four to five days or so. I say a little bit of a break, I'm still gonna be vlogging and editing that, but as much of a break as I can, answer all my emails, do all my editing up until this point of the vlog, and just kind of give myself some Christmassy time off. So it's gonna be great. But this morning I finished a book and I also completely changed my plans from the last time I spoke to you, Ari, reading. So let's get into that. So I finished Little Women this morning by Louisa May Alcott. And I keep needing to say by Louisa May Alcott because in two videos ago, I made a mistake and said by Jane Austen. And I don't know why I did that because I know it's Louisa May Alcott. So every time I hold it up, I'm like, Louisa May Alcott, Beth, Louisa May Alcott. So anyway, I finished Little Women and I loved it. I gave it four out of five stars. I don't know why I didn't read this sooner. I felt very daunted by it initially, but do you know what? It was fantastic. It's very wholesome. It's very much a story of sisterly love and family bonds, but also of feminism and of amazing messages. And I think the way that this did handle feminism and the way that we had four very different sisters on very different paths and not all of them nice paths. If you've read it, you will know. If you've watched the film, you will know. But we get these amazing young women that have emerged from this amazing mum who I just love. She's just so fierce and she gives so many cool messages. And I just really enjoyed it. So this kind of made up for the Christmas escape and the Christmas murder game not being great books because this was brilliant. I mean, of course it was gonna be brilliant. It's such a well-loved classic. So I'm really glad I finally read this. Now I was meant to pick up the Christmas mysteries. Was that what it was called? Is that even what it was? Is that what it was called? That doesn't sound right. Anyway, I was gonna pick that up. And I read one of the stories last night and I just thought, not feeling it. I want a fiction that I can get stuck into that's not lots of short stories. And I was like, I don't know what to pick, I don't know what to pick. And I was laying in bed at the time and I was like, do not go and sift through all your books. Don't, it's, it's late, do not do it. So I, I didn't. I just sifted through them in my brain instead. <laughs> and then I remembered this. This is A Snowfall of Silver by Laura Wood. And I haven't read this yet because I've been saving this for the winter. And guess what, it's the winter. It's actually the first official day of winter today. Was that yesterday? Anyway, it's it's winter. So I'm gonna read this book because I love Laura Wood. She is an autobiographer for me. This one is, is in the same world as a, Under a Dancing Star or a Sky Painted Gold? Maybe a Sky Painted Gold? I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think, I wanna say it's a Sky Painted Gold. Anyway, this follows one of the siblings from one of the other books from Laura Wood, but all of Laura Wood's books merge into one in my brain. Like I just want all the characters to meet and be best friends. So I have high expectations for this one. I am not gonna go into this knowing anything. Like I could read the blurb, yes, but I just don't want to. I just wanna go in to just enjoy Laura Wood's amazing writing and her brilliant characters and her lovely atmospheric settings. She normally writes set in the summer, so it's gonna be really nice to see a winter one. And I just can't wait. So this is what I'm gonna be reading. I haven't started yet, I've just, Got my bookmark sticking out the top of it, which I am obsessed with. This is from Brit's shop, basically Brit. I just love that book stack. I have these in pretty much all the colors, apart from like one of them, I think, which I bought someone as a gift actually. And they're just so pretty. I only have an hour and a half left at work, which is very exciting. And then I'm off. I had my patron party last night, which was super fun. Tonight I've got FaceTime with friends. I'm also getting sushi for dinner as a takeaway, which I'm really excited about. And I'm gonna watch the last episode of Hawkeye, which I don't know if I'm ready for but I'm gonna do it, it's gonna happen. Feeling optimistic, I'm feeling really excited to go home to my family tomorrow and just be back for Christmas and watch A Christmas Carol, Muppets Christmas Carol, of course, that is like my Christmas Eve film, so I'm ready for that. It's gonna be great, 
I'm super excited and glad that I'm feeling optimistic because I think with all the COVID stuff, it's been a constant worry that I've not gonna be able to go for whatever reason. And I think I'm at the kind of, not, I'm not gonna say I'm in the safe point because I don't want to say that yet, but I'm feeling good about it. So yeah, it's, it's a weird time of year. I know it's gonna be difficult for a lot of people for a lot of different reasons. And I know not everyone is gonna be able to have the Christmas they wanted to, but I think my stance, as I said at the beginning of this vlog, is I'm gonna do my absolute best that this is gonna be a really positive week. So yes, with that going forward, I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. Tonight, actually, before I did any of the things I just said I wanted to do, I had this vague notion <laughs> that I may not do, but I kind of liked the idea of driving. We have this really long road that essentially winds around the whole of this town and the next town over and just keeps going all the way to London. And that road kind of goes through a lot of houses. Now, we used to go to a Chinese in the next town over every year on Christmas Eve, but with COVID this year, we've decided we're not gonna be going to the Christmas, uh, the Chinese on Christmas Eve, unfortunately. So what I always loved doing was when we drove back, was looking at all the lights and just feeling all festive. Now, when it gets dark tonight, I'm kind of in the back of my head thinking, maybe I'll go and see all the lights. And I don't know if I will actually end up doing that, but I thought it was a kind of nice idea. So I may do that, I may not, we'll see. <laughs> I'll let you know what I decide if I can be bothered. But yeah, that's, that's the potential plan for the rest of the day. Let's see how it goes. Not to, you know, give you the wrong impression that I'm excited about the Christmas break or anything, but it is 4.30. It is Wednesday, the 22nd of December, and I am done with work for the year, except I now have to go and edit some videos, but I'm done with my day job. Goodbye. I feel like I've left myself loads of things that I need to do this evening now before I go on my FaceTime. I have pre-ordered my sushi because they're not open yet, so I've ordered it to like come for 6.30ish, but I now need to edit my fairy loot unboxing and I'm just looking at my Funnel Cut stuff here and a video that's gonna go up next weekend or just after then. I've gotta put my washing away, sort out the flat a little bit and then hopefully go for that drive I mentioned. I don't know, I don't know what time's best to go because whilst it's dark now, I want people to have actually turned their lights on. I don't know if people will be home from work yet. I don't know if that's gonna be plausible. I'm gonna see how much I can get done with this stuff. Ah, oh, okay, I'm already worn out. <laughs> so I may be finished with my day job, but I'm now, needing to sit in front of my desk for a while and do some editing, so let's crack on with that. Happy Christmas Eve Eve! It is Thursday. This is now when I will lose track of what day it is. Is there any point in keeping track? I don't know, but I have packed, kind of. There's, there's some stuff in the hallway. I haven't packed the presents yet because I was taking photos around the tree area, but also look how cute this is. So Lauren sent me a little ball ball. It's so cute, I love it. So I need to pack the presents still, which I'm daunted by the prospect of because getting them down to the car is gonna be fun. It's like, I'm on the third floor, so technically the second floor, isn't it? I'm on the second floor, but it's like two flights of stairs to get up each floor. So I've got to go down four flights of stairs multiple times, which is fine, it's fine. It's gonna be a good time. So I need to nip out to the shop quick to pick up a couple of bits to bring home with me. And then I'm gonna come back and pack the presents. It's gonna happen. I need to edit a video still. I wanted to do that before I left. I don't know if I'm gonna have time. I'm gonna, it's 12.30 and I need to leave here 3.34ish, but I'm also waiting on some post to come, hopefully. So I want that to have arrived before I leave. So that's the plan today. It's just kind of ticking all the boxes of getting things done and just making sure that I've got everything sorted before I go home so that I can really have some time off. So yeah, I'm gonna, gonna go to the shops now. I was gonna walk, but I have to pick up several bottled items and I think that's gonna be quite heavy to walk back with. So fingers crossed the car park is not insanely busy. Okay, I'm back from Waitrose. That was busy, but I got most of what I wanted. But I just wanted to give a little shout out to my Christmas setup because I'm about to take the presents away from under the tree. So it's not gonna look quite as good. But here it is, and it's full force. Hang on, let me, let me stand back here. I love it, I just love it. I absolutely love the decor at Christmas time. I wish it was a thing all year round, like to have a tree up with decorations and lights. It's just so pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna put the presents in bags now, and it's gonna be all bare under there. All the presents are gone from under the tree. They're in my car, it's loaded up. I've just got my actual bag of clothes and my laptop, and I'm going. I didn't get to edit the video I wanted to edit, but I'm gonna do that when I get back home. And just, yeah. 
feel like I'm getting back for Christmas now. Woohoo! Hello, happy Christmas Eve. It is Friday morning. I have finished my last video of the year. Well, apart from vlogs, but apart from the vlogs, I finished my last video of the year. So I am kind of done with Books Nest work for the year, kind of. Again, I'm not really fully taking a break because I will still be weekly vlogging, editing those vlogs and posting on Instagram but I have scheduled tweets, I've scheduled all my videos, I've done my 2021 stats video and that is all scheduled. So that is all good to go. I don't have to think about it. I'm not gonna answer emails. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be kind of more of an admin side break, I would say, than like the other stuff that I said I'm not gonna be taking a break from because I just enjoy doing the vlogs and the Instagram. So it doesn't really feel like I need a break from that, but sometimes the editing and the emails and stuff, that's there's a lot of that kind of thing happening. So it's nice to just say no and just step back from that for a bit because breaks are important. So today I'm gonna to be watching A Muppet's Christmas Carol. Of course, it's my favorite Christmas Eve film. It's the perfect film for Christmas Eve. We're also gonna be baking a Christmas cake, me and my mum later. Every year we do this and every year we try and do a fantastic design. We find something on Pinterest. We don't try to be too ambitious because we know it's beyond our skills. And every year it's just laughable but we have fun, so that's the important thing. <laughs> so I've actually, oh, I haven't opened my advent calendar today. I've got my last door on my advent calendar. I've had a Raymond Briggs Father Christmas advent calendar. I love Father Christmas by Raymond Briggs. It's a lovely book and a lovely little film. So let's open it together. Hang on, I need to pop you somewhere. So we have the double doors today. I've been guessing what he's been doing in each picture and seeing if I can get it right. So I think he's gonna be flying over Buckingham Palace in this picture because that is a moment in the film. Oh, he's not, he's sat having his little biscuits with cookies and milk. I like, I enjoy that that's a double door. It makes it all exciting. You used to have like the double doors on the chocolate advent calendars when you were a kid that were bigger. Like I feel like they're, they're no longer bigger, which is why I say when you were a kid, because I still enjoy a chocolate advent calendar, but they are definitely not as big as they used to be, the final doors. And it's not because I'm bigger. <laughs> I think the doors are now the same size throughout the whole month, if I'm correct. Although, Ava had a lint advent calendar and she got like the big lint there at the end of it, so a little bit jealous there. I'm also, hang on, let's talk about what I'm currently reading because I've not spoken to you about it yet. And also if you heard that click, it was my foot. I'm sorry, I am very clicky. <laughs> so I am reading A Snowfall of Silver by Laura Wood. I haven't really had too much of a chance to dig into this yet, but Laura Wood's writing is always so beautifully elegant and the way that she paints the settings. This one's set in London, which is really exciting. I think it's in the early 30s. Yeah, 1931 November. So we're in the kind of wintry setting, it's getting colder, it's all cozy. I'm really excited. We're following one of the sisters of one of the characters from one of the previous books. Is it Sky Painted Gold? I blur them all together. I think it's from Sky Painted Gold. They kind of just all fit in my head as like one world almost. I'd love to see crossovers from them all, but yeah, this is exciting as a crossover from like following one of the sisters instead. But I am only like 30 pages in because I keep sitting down to read it late at night after I've been doing loads of stuff for the evening and just don't have time. So I need to sit down properly and read a little bit of this today, I think. And I don't know if I'm gonna have any time tomorrow to read, but I'm gonna give it a go in the morning maybe because we've got like, we dinner is, our Christmas dinner is actually at dinner time tomorrow, like six-ish. So hopefully like late morning or I don't know, early afternoon, I might have some time to sit down and read. It's ambitious, but here we go. <laughs> also, I brought some books back with me. Hold on, let me show you what I brought back. Oh, this lighting is not good. So I brought back The Hunting Party. This is horrendous lighting. Oh well, it's because you're like right behind a very orange light. Bought back The Hunting Party, which is next up on my TBR. I also bought back The Ship of Shadows by Maria Kuznia. Labyrinth by Kate Moss, which is one I've been wanting to read for ages. This is pretty big. I really am feeling this lately. Apparently it's excellent. The Name of the Rose by Umberto Eco. Again, this is one I've been wanting to read for ages. And finally, I bought back The Phone Box at the Edge of the World by Laura in my Messina. This was in my secondhand bookshelf advent calendar, I think last week, and it looks really, really good. So I brought back six books, but I know I'm gonna be unwrapping some books on Christmas because I bought my presents back for my friends, which are definitely books. I, I, can, I can just tell they're books. And my mum usually does get me a few books. So I'm basically just gonna have quite a few to choose from. I'm here for a week. So I wanted to give myself choice. I don't intend to get through this rather tall stack. Don't tend to get through all of these necessarily because like, especially these two are quite big, but I just wanted to have the choice. So here's the choice. Okay, I'm gonna go crack on with my day now, but I will talk to you guys a little bit later.
Hello, it is the end of the day on Friday. I have come to wrap up the vlog. I didn't do many, well, I did one talking update, so I didn't do many talking updates today, but I hope you enjoyed the B-roll of cake making and Chinese and watching a Muppet's Christmas Carol. <laughs> Those are the three main things my day consisted of. We went for this, what we thought was kind of a simple design for the cake. It was basically like a little triangle Father Christmas, but it was like a study of geometry trying to get it to work because I had to cut out lots of different parts of it and like put them all together. I think Peter Parker would have been really proud. Also, if you can hear noises in the background, that is because Ava is going to bed, but she is very, very excited about Christmas. So she's currently um, exuding some of that excitement and getting it out of her system. So hopefully she can sleep. The older I get, the more I want to like lie in at Christmas and just kind of have a slow start and not feel like everything is done by eight o'clock. Whereas now as a nine-year-old in the house, she, it's my sister by the way, if you're watching this thinking, who is this? Um, Ava is my sister, she is nine and she wants to get up quite early as children do. So it's, it's kind of, I still have the childhood Christmas element, which is quite good fun to be honest. It's, yeah, it does make it still have that kind of excitement that it did have when I was a child. So looking forward to it. So yes, the father Christmas on top of the tree whilst it looks fairly simple, there was a lot of layering and cutting out templates and things, but I think it looks quite good. Can't wait to eat some of it tomorrow. <laughs> then watched Muppet's Christmas Carol, which is my Christmas Eve film of choice. And we got a Chinese takeaway. We normally go to a Chinese restaurant every Christmas Eve for dinner, but obviously with COVID and stuff, we just didn't want to risk it because we're seeing my grandparents tomorrow who are vulnerable. So we didn't want to risk bringing anything to them so we decided to get a takeaway which was really yummy and now I'm just gonna get ready for bed and then go downstairs and chill for a little bit. I have not read a single thing. I really genuinely thought I would read this afternoon, I just didn't. So this vlog is more of just an update for the week rather than reading updates because I think at the start of the week I had reading updates for you and it's just kind of teetered off towards the end of the week. I think this is going to be the last vlog you're going to see of this year because whilst I will be filming next week that's going to be going live in the new year I think so this will be the last vlog of 2021 so I want to take the chance just to thank you all very quickly because I know this has been a very strange year there have been a lot of ups and downs and I'm really proud of the ups that I've had I'm proud of the the way that I've managed to kind of create the content that I'm absolutely really happy with. I won Blogosphere Book Influencer of the Year this year, which was wow. So thank you all so much for that. I launched my Patreon this year, which is nearly at 100 patrons, which is incredibly exciting. And it's the kind of thing where I can't really imagine not having it there because it's such a lovely community of people that I just go to so often and just chat and we all support each other. It's just so nice. And it's very weird to think there was a time this time last year when that wasn't there. So yeah, I've, I've done I've done things that I'm so happy with this year. And whilst it's been a weird year, I hope I can continue to do some really, really fun stuff and create content that you guys are enjoying. The support has been absolutely amazing. I am getting step and step closer to being able to live my dream with all of this. So thank you so, so much for your support throughout 2021. It means the absolute world to me. Hopefully you'll continue to enjoy my content in 2022. I have a couple of things planned so far that I'm very excited about. But yeah, I'm going to sign this off now, Christmas Eve night. Not going to be vlogging tomorrow, just going to spend the time with my family and just be in the moment and appreciate it. But Thank you so, so much for watching this vlog. If you do want to come back for next week's vlog, that is when I will be talking more about like New Year's resolutions and kind of goals for the next year. I don't know if I'll do like a whole separate video on that, but I'll talk more about that kind of thing in the next vlog because there is a couple of things I want to talk about there with some stuff that I want to achieve next year that hopefully will be exciting and stuff that will help with content as well. So that'll be next week. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you like best about the festive season, subscribe to see more of my face on your feed, and if you want to check out my Patreon for any more content from me, that is linked down below as well. Thank you so much for watching, keep smiling, stay positive, and I hope you had a really, really merry Christmas.